with more than 1,200 wins. My next guest is a coaching legend in Oklahoma. First as a player and then as a coach for the Owasso Rams, Larry Turner is being honored with yet another major award. Coach Turner is here with us this morning. He is being inducted into the National High School Baseball Coaches Association's 2024 Hall of Fame. Welcome and congrats. Thank you very much. I, la I was laughing. We were talking in the break and I said, this is amazing. And he goes, well, it just means I'm old. Yeah. It's kind of the way you feel sometimes, but I mean, you have been there forever. It, yeah, it seems that way. And, and yeah, it's true, you know, from a, going to high school there and just the only job I've ever had. Some people say, Larry, why didn't you, why didn't you go do other stuff? Well, I tried to be s smarter than always thinking the grass is greener on the other side. Always felt like they were fair and good to me at Owasso and just my hometown. And then my wife, my wife had gone to school there and now she teaches and my kids went to school there and teach. And so it's just the only thing I've ever known and I wouldn't do anything different. Super content. Right. Yeah. Yep. I, I, okay. So you put some pictures together and I kind of want you to walk us through this because you were a catcher. Right. And you started, you know, you high school, sophomore year, that, that, getting yeah. honors, I guess. Well, yes, that, that first picture was when we were in the state semifinals and had played uh, for a state championship in Owasso and, and just, uh, just snowball from there. Yeah. That picture right there. First, first year. Yeah. First year to coach yeah, as an assistant. assistant yeah. yeah. As yeah. you look at back over your 42 years as the head coach. I mean, this is a great memory because you got your son not only was on the sidelines, but then eventually played for you. Yeah, played for me. Was lucky enough to pitch my 1,000th win and play on a couple of state championship teams. And, you know, you'd never be able to write that in the script because you never knew that you'd have a son or you'd be successful or last that long. And things just worked out the way they did. 1,200, more than 1,200 wins now, right? Yes. That's like unheard of. Does that, I mean, you always attribute it to the players. You always go back to, you know, that's always kind of been, you're incredibly humble, which is what well, I want to say. But I mean, it, you you surround yourself with good coaches. 100%. And then, and then on top of that, these young men. Well, you know, we, we uh, I've been very blessed to have, you know, great players and to have great coaches. And my coaches are going to go coach. Uh, I'm not going to micromanage them. They're going to do their thing. You know, our pitching coach goes out back. I don't know what he does with the pitchers, but throw strikes and give us a chance to win. You know, <laughs> right, right. And uh, but uh, yeah, it. Uh, I, I've been more than blessed. We, we our thing is that we want to make our kids be better dads and better fathers. And if we can win a game along the way and be successful, that's the big thing. What are you excited about about this new year? Uh, just another chance for these kids to realize their dream and you know you so you just want to be playing uh, the last game mm -hmm. and if you play the last game you have a chance to win it was cute dave was asking him the commercial break as well name some of your the, the big players that that have come through the ranks uh, well there's so many and i don't want to offend anybody of course dylan bundy and pete cosmo were both first round draft choices uh mark roberts um, um billy Paris. i mean Aaron Goins, they could just go on forever, but uh, there's, uh, now I'm going to leave somebody out and uh, I don't mean to. They won't but, be, uh, they won't be mad. Aaron uh, Goins played for you back in the 80s. Right. And you said he was probably one of the best athletes all around that you'd ever coached. Right. He, he was a great basketball player. He could run track, uh, his second round draft choice. So the Reds uh, went down to OU to play for Coach Switzer before. He resigned, and uh, he was just that kind of athlete, could do it all. Yeah. So this honor comes with you. You have a lot of honors already. What does this one mean to you? Well, it's it's nice to be recognized nationally. That's not why I do this or have done this. Uh, but but it is. It's a humbling, and I'm sure that when I go down there in uh, December that, uh, you know, it'll really sink in I guess yeah you'll get the ring yeah. you'll get an, yeah. a ring and the celebration in December in Florida in December which is great a great place to be but that's right yeah for <laughs> sure well I look forward season is spring ball are y'all oh yeah we're ready to roll uh uh, first scrimmage is next Thursday. Opening day is March 1st. Can you believe it? Nope. That's awesome. Let's go. Look for number five on the sidelines. Yep. You'll be there. Coach Larry Turner, congratulations. Thanks, Leanne. Really appreciate Thanks. it. All right.